Don't overthink it, it's just paint. What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Paid Society. Today, well, we're gonna redeem ourselves. You guys might remember Jeremy's Mercedes where we kind of did a do-it-yourself job that wasn't too good. So we're gonna show you where our mistakes were and then we have an awesome uh, paint job, a dip today. We're gonna show you and kind of learn how we could correct some of those mistakes. Okay. All right, so you might remember this dip job. Some of you loved it, some of you hated it. Well, it looks a lot better on camera than it feels. Come here right now. You can see this if you pan in. This is the rock guard that, you know, you just didn't see on camera. We really did not know what we were doing. So what happened was we got a comment from Fonzie from Dip Your Car. He says, you know what? So you guys are having some struggles there with the product, applying it. Come over to our um, warehouse, our, our business, and we'll show you, we'll give you a free training on what to do. Just so happens that we're local, so we take them up on it, and that is why we are here today. I mean, And yeah, so we could have done a much better job, but we got the man here, Fonzie, dip your car. Tell me, where did we go wrong with something like this? There's really two major pieces to dipping a car. You've got your masking, and then you've got your spraying. For the masking portion, with you having a painting background, you did a pretty good job of it, but there are some nuances between masking for paint and masking for dip, specifically that peel when wet area that we always talk about on our channel. So areas like up here, as the dip is gonna dry over these seals and you have masking material in there, and you can see that in multiple areas of the car, once that dip dries over the masking material, it's very difficult to peel that masking material up and maintain that clean edge. That's why you always hear us talk about that peel when wet area, and we'll be going over that on your cars in here today. You identify those peel when wet areas and you remove that masking while the dip is still nice and wet so that instead of these jagged edges, you get nice clean lines all the way around. As far as the spraying portion, again, very different than spraying paint. Dip has a completely different behavior. It's very high solids, it dries very quick. So when you see these areas specifically down the side of the car that are really rough, I mean, these, these are areas you really shouldn't see on a dipped car. This is the dip drying in the air and landing as individual dry particles on the car. What you really wanna have happen is the dip to have, like this whole door panel should be one even wet coat and all dry is one wet sheet. That's how you're gonna get that super smooth, even finish. So all things that we can easily correct. I know you guys are gonna get us squared away, show us the proper way so we can show the folks over at Paint Society how a car is supposed to be dipped. And today we have Patrick's Porsche Cayenne 2008 in great condition, but begging for a makeover. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what we have. Over at Dip Your Car, they have their own spray booth. Now you don't actually need a spray booth to apply this product, but for today's video, we are going to be putting on a color that's gonna give this a mean and aggressive look and still hold the classiness of the car itself. We can see that we have tons of work to do. Now, the reason why Dip Your Car is such a good product for beginners is because you don't need to prep your car at all. This is a coating that completely will peel off. You'll never have to worry about ruining the car paint, just as long as you get as many layers as you need so it's thick enough to peel. You can see over in this area, the hood is a little bit faded. There's bird droppings, things of that nature. So basically what we wanna do today is just completely get it all one color and give it a nice little facelift. So it's time to get it taped off. So let's get started. Well, we got most of it taped off. You can see the way we tape it is we do the main taping first and then all the yellow tape around is what will get peeled off first because you don't want that dip to bridge with the actual panel itself. 
that's when it would get some tearing. So Gabe's been done, done a very thorough job here getting everything taped off. Now we're just kind of going around using a pre-dip spray. This is gonna clean it good, make sure that we don't have any sort of uh, silicones or anything of that nature, dirt, grease, anything that would prevent the dip from adhering to the uh, surface itself. So we'll get it cleaned up and then we'll start spraying down our base and then our color. And finally, it was time to pick out the color. A dipper car, there's tons of different options available to you. And being in the warehouse is like a kid in a candy store. Now we started off with our avalanche gray and then we picked up our army green, which I think we're really, really gonna like. And well, that's where we left off and we are ready to roll into the booth. And before we started spraying, Gabe, the technical manager, gave us a full training on the first coat and how it should be applied. The first coat is almost like a mist coat where we're introducing the dip to the panel itself. It's not full wet, but it is a nice consistent coat. This will lay down a good foundation for the rest of our coats to lay down on. Now I will tell you a big difference between our first experience and laying down this first coat. Off the bat, I'm noticing a much better transfer efficiency to the panel. I always tell you guys, the paint gun is your number one connection to the panel from yourself, so make sure that paint gun is clean, free of debris, and working properly. Something that we did not have in the case of our first dip job when we used a used spray gun that wasn't cleaned properly. You can see here that we're just making the first coat get on there very well and we're all taking our turn spraying the vehicle showing that anyone really can do it. Now Gabe has a little bit more of a seasoned hand and well he's spraying down this avalanche gray first as the base. You might ask, why do you need to spray down this coat first? Well, the avalanche gray is your foundation. If you want your dip to be peelable, like you saw earlier, you need to have thick coats on. And it's not recommended to put a metallic down first because those metallics might stay behind on the OEM paint and you'll have to use some clay barring to get them off. So an avalanche gray is a solid color and a good foundation for peelability so it will peel right off. We can see we all are giving our hand at spraying paint and it might look a little bit easier than what it seems on camera but once you get a hang of two or three passes then it is cake work. Really a beginner can do this type of paint job which is why I recommend it and well it's a very, very, very low risk, no risk paint job. You don't have to worry about sanding or messing anything up on your vehicle. And within one day, you can change the color of your car. Now, one thing we don't recommend is doing what Jeremy's doing here is panel by panel. It might not make a big deal, but when it comes to spraying that pearl coat later, you might be seeing striping. So what you want to do is go from fender door door to quarter panel in one long stroke we see that jeremy later on learned that and did a fantastic job of correcting you can see the correct procedure right here gabe is going from the front of the panel the fender all the way walking the vehicle to the end and this will give you a much smoother finish a fuller dip job where the panels are completely drying together as one rather than just patches along the car you can see it still didn't affect too much but when it came time to mix up that army green well you're going to want to make sure you're consistent with your passes much smoother what a beautiful color we have here as gabe gets it all mixed up and make sure that all the pearls at the bottom are completely broken up and mixed up properly so you don't get any of those chunks into the paint it's always a good idea to strain it as well and now we'll pick up any of the debris that's in the paint so you don't get it on your paint job the simple little tips and tricks like this will really yield a much better paint job and i was elected first to go on top of the roof and we want to start with the roof and work your way down you want to spray this wet your first coat of your color does not have to be a mist coat like before you're going to spray your first coat of color very wet like you're seeing in here remember the wetter it is the smoother it will dry if you spray it dry it's going to come out like you saw on the mercedes earlier very rough texture and very gritty which is not what we want it might look orange peely at first so don't get concerned about that as the solvents come out of the paint it will dry completely smooth flat and a beautiful finish you'll find now as far as coatings i would suggest 
possibly up to three coats of the avalanche gray keep in mind that we're not showing you every single coat here we're showing you only the first coats of each one of the colors we're using but i would suggest up to six coats for peelability so three an avalanche gray and then three more that will give you a nice build of thickness to be able to peel it and what you also want to make sure and keep in mind is you're spraying that same coating into those hard to reach areas like your bumper covers and areas that might not be uh, as accessible to get to because those areas have to peel as well you can see as we're working it from the quarter panel you're going to keep it all the way and walk the whole entire car all the way to the fender this can be a problem sometimes with the mirror but you work around it also something i missed here that Gabe showed me is I should have sprayed the door handles first rather than going over them. So that's something you're going to want to keep in mind as well when you're doing your color. Go ahead, spray your door handles first and then completely move over the whole entire car. This will give you a nicer, smoother finish. We're going to let the tunes finish this one up as we get it all wrapped up. And that's going to wrap things up for this video. A special thanks to Dip Your Car, Fonzie, and Gabe for helping us out and showing us the proper techniques and procedures to have such an amazing outcome. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. <laughs>